angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. We welcome you to this additional Mass in the parish today. We have Mass publicly at 10 o'clock. We're offering this live stream Mass for the repose of the soul of Father Brian Taylor, priest of our diocese, who went to the Lord yesterday on the Feast of the Annunciation. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watch for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our re revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and hearts, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my anguish, I call to the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my anguish, I call to the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. The waves of death rose about me, the torrents of destruction assailed me, the snares of the grave entangled me, the traps of death confronted me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice, my cry came to his ears. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews fetched stones to stone him. So Jesus said to them, I have done many good works for you to see, works from my Father, for which of these are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for doing a good work, but for blasphemy. You are only a man, and you claim to be God. Jesus answered, is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? So the law used the word gods of those to whom the word of God was addressed, and scripture cannot be rejected. Yet you say to someone the Father has consecrated and sent into the world, you are blaspheming. But he says, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing my Father's work, there is no need to believe me. But if I am doing it, then even if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work I do. Then you will know for sure 
that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. They wanted to arrest him then, but he eluded them. He went back again to the far side of the Jordan to stay in the district where John had once been baptizing. Many people who came to him there said, John gave no signs, but all he said about this man was true, and many of them believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have always found the confession from Jeremiah as impressive because it is so honest. It comes amid persecution, and despite all his efforts, Jeremiah feels he has failed. And perhaps one of the reasons why we struggle with our mental and our spiritual health from time to time is because we set impossible expectations for ourselves, leading us to lament we were never called to our particular vocation. Sensibly, Jeremiah confides his feelings to God, for it is better to be honest with God than to moan and whinge to others who might not be able to give us the best advice. We should be clear, however, that no one ever said that being a Christian would be easy. Like Jeremiah, when we preach the word of God, hardly anyone listens, and some even actively reject it. But it is our zeal for the Lord and our joy in encountering him that will win the day. We must, though, be on our guard against the blasphemous and idolatrous practices of the secular world, which try to convince us that the call of the Lord is not valid. A committed Christian, however, understands that God will never forsake us and never withdraw his promises. Next week, as we journey through Holy Week, we will be given an opportunity to make sense of our sufferings that if we follow Christ to Calvary, we will pass over with him from death into life. Jeremiah did not give up on his ministry, but persevered until the end. In admitting his limitations, he allows God to work through him, and as God says to St. Paul, my power is made perfect in your weakness. It is difficult to understand the words and deeds of God, but taking our part in the pastoral mysteries of our salvation, we will, in time, be brought to the fullness of the truth. Step one in the truth is recognizing Jesus' divinity, that he has the authority to heal and to forgive our sins. Today's gospel warns us not to reject the mystery of the incarnation, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Step two is appreciating we have become sons of God in baptism and may therefore have a reasonable claim to the inheritance that is a share of the divine life for all eternity.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaiot, Plenius Oncelia Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant and priest, Brian, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Preceptus salutaribus manati, et alina institutione formati, aut de hemus dihicere, 
Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetua nohum et tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Pater Nostrum quod itianum, da nobis hodie, et divite nobis, debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitibus, debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Panios Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Panios Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Panios Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>